was fun. I really, really enjoyed playing both of these guitars. They're, they're really wonderful instruments. And, uh, you know, when I played the, the, uh, the first one, you know, I, I felt real comfortable. And, uh, and I thought, you know, I, I, really, I really couldn't think of uh, what could be better about it. But then when I picked up the, the second one, there was, there was a certain quality about it that, that I thought was more... Uh, it gave me more to work with, even more to work with. Uh, it was uh, more open sound. It had it had more sort of air in it. You know, this. I, I I hope this is not too abstract, but this is the way that I that I think about sound. Is like when you play a note, if it has some space around it, that's really you know it's really beautiful. Each note has sort of its own place in 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 the sonic picture. The first guitar that I played, uh, uh, somehow it, it, had, it had a little more kind of a, uh, like it was slightly more muffled in a way and, and, and the notes were kind of sticking together a little bit more uh, in, in a way that can be nice, but, but I actually prefer the way that, 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 that this guitar spoke. Uh, it, uh, it has certain clarity, it has really beautiful harmonics, you know, the way, the, the way that they ring and the way that everything rings just has has a little more space and a little more air in it. Uh, I felt that both guitars are, are, you know, that I can really work with them. You know, they're very responsive. Uh, but I would say that the second one had, a, you know, definitely had a, 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 a notch above in terms of, you know, the responsiveness, the reaction, uh, both in terms of the, the 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 rhythm and the clarity of it, and also in terms of being able to change colors. I'm just going to play a very short phrase, the first phrase of, of his work. Here we go. Okay, now switching. Okay. Interesting. Um, the 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 first guitar sounded nice and warm, but the second guitar really had um, had this uh, uh, bell-like quality, which I really like a lot. You know, it's like that song Johnny Be Good. You know, when they say uh, he could play his guitar just like ringing a bell. I get a lot of bell quality from this guitar. You know, when 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 you do this. which is actually a low note, I can hear a whole spectrum of notes ringing and it's very inspiring to me from this side. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm going to play the second, I'm going to stay with this guitar now. Uh, I'm going to play the, the, the second phrase, uh, which, um, you know, which has some nice harmonics. It, it, it has some low notes and some high notes and some high harmonics. And I'm really curious to see um, how that would go. So here's this phrase. Yeah, here, here the difference seems really obvious, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, definitely that. You know, because because the uh, on 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 this guitar, the, those harmonics and those higher notes really sort of blossom, you mm -hmm. know. And in this one, they kind of die out, you know. And I have to work harder to to bring them out, mm -hmm. you know. This, as opposed to here. Yeah, you can really, you know, it's like I, I want to stop there and not and just wait for a minute, you know, for 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 all of that to happen. It's really nice. These are spruce stops, you know, which you know, which actually 
develop over you know over five or even ten years you know mm -hmm. so uh, it's really exciting to think about the story that this guitar can tell over many years mm -hmm. as it opens up and, and it will open up and it will form itself to the player who is actually playing it okay I'm gonna do now this phrase which is like a call and response it's kind of like a dialogue between uh, actually between two instruments it's kind of kind of interesting so here we go guitar It was really obvious to me yeah. this time when I picked when I picked this one up. It just wasn't giving me Very, quite as yeah. much, you know. It, uh, uh, again, it's a good instrument, you know. So I could I had to adjust a little bit, you know. It, so it, I, it still has a really sweet tone. It's it's just that one's much more resonant. And the thing about it is that that when it's resonant, it's it's easy for me to also make it dark. You know, it's like if the guitar when you were is sounding, changing the yeah, color. it's like. But the thing is. You can't make the guitar more more resonant than what it is, you know. So so that's why on this one it's 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 harder work. You here it's like mm, you know it's, it's kind of muffled. So when I play the louder phrase, I have to I have yeah. to sort of push it, you know, and I still don't get exactly the the kind of sound that I would want. It's a real pleasure playing this guitar. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna play something fast, faster for you now. So, the thing that I like about this guitar is it's it's also uh, more reactive than the other one. You know, meaning it really responds immediately. So this is this is a quicker piece. I'll play you a little bit of it. Uh, it's called chicho, and like a lot of my pieces, it's based on on traditional folk music from uh, uh, from Eastern Europe. This is from Macedonia. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 